I wanted to return to this problem quickly, just to go over null and alternate hypotheses, as well as your conclusion. And doing the mechanics of this, and explaining the basics, I realized I should have probably written a better null and an alternate. So I'm going to take a moment to do that with you. So, essentially what we're trying to prove is whether there is a difference in distribution of those who ordered at the restaurant when there was no, what people were at the restaurant based on the music. Whether we noticed a stronger distribution when French music was being played, if more people were ordering French food, whether more people were ordering Italian food when Italian music was being played, or, you know, when we were hearing no music, we probably shouldn't have been seeing much of a difference at all in the distribution. What we're trying to prove is that the music is influencing what people are going to be ordering here. So I'm going to write a really strong null for this. So what you're doing for homogeneity, you're trying to prove a difference in the true distribution among your categorical variables. So null is always dull, remember that. So what I'm going to say is there is no difference in the distribution, or I can't even say true distribution, because that, you know, establishes a parameter. Let's see, the true distribution of entrees ordered at this restaurant When French, Italian, or no music is played. So we go in assuming that it really doesn't make a difference what type of music you're playing. You're going to get the same distribution of food order no matter what. I mean, you're going to still sell the same proportion of Italian food, same proportion of French food, and, you know, it's going to be pretty evenly distributed when there's no food. It's not going to make a difference. Now, for my alternate, I can really kind of keep it things the same here. So what you notice what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of copy and paste my null here. I'm going to just change the wording a little bit. Now, of course, pencils don't have copy-paste. You do have to kind of write this out when you're going to be doing this on a test or your AP exam. I'm just doing this for the sake of saving some time. All right, so I'm going to say there is a difference. <coughs> oh, and there go my dogs. I just wanted to take a moment to explain that. Hopefully this helps.